Hi, I'm Cara and I'm the course leader on the Extended Diploma Media course here at City College Norwich. Over two years you'll study 18 units. Those 18 units vary from practical units to more theoretical units, which are theory units that underpin your practical knowledge. I would say it's probably about a 60-40 balance, so 60% practical, 40% theory. Although the BTEC Extended Diploma in Media Production is focused just in that area of media, it is still quite broad, so don't worry. You do aspects of photography, animation, uh, radio, and then obviously the film stuff and theory stuff behind TV and film. Um, that theory stuff is actually really interesting and really useful information for surviving in what is quite a difficult industry. Um, but again, more favourite for me was the film stuff like single camera techniques where we made a short drama and then making adverts that was really uh, fun i enjoyed that and animation was a surprising one um, i took a lot of time on that trying to get that right and then moving on to more managerial stuff where you're bringing in the whole crew and you're controlling the whole project that's quite fun just doing all the logistics of it and learning about that and i really enjoy the way they structure units on the course as assignments because it's you get a brief for a, a job and then you have to a deadline to deliver that job and it's kind of working to that deadline and working like you are in the industry is a lot more practical and useful to me as a learner than it would be seeing in a classroom learning all the time. When you're here on the course you'll use lots of different equipment. You'll be using professional cameras, professional studios as well as editing software. All equipment and software that you will need to be able to go and work within the industry. So something that drew me to this course was the facilities and if you haven't checked them out already then I definitely would because we've got a fully working TV studio with a gallery and you know there's a multitude of edit suites here and they've all got top of the industry software in them. There's also loads of equipment here that you can hire out and you can hire out for college work or a project outside of college and it's such a useful resource to have. I really don't think anywhere else does that. I'm Ray Goodman, I'm the Program Manager for Performing Arts and Media courses at City College Norwich. And um, uh, specifically my role is uh, ensuring the students' journey from the moment they're interviewed until the moment they graduate is a fulfilling one. And as part of making sure everyone has successful outcomes, we're hoping that new £5.7 million building that's sitting on the other side of the campus just there is going to be part of that. Um, has amazing new facilities, uh, 21st century kit and um, will be full of uh, the sort of resources that people need to make their skills industry relevant when they leave. I think one of the strengths of the course is the staff. The staff have lots and lots of industry experience. Our sessional and part-time staff that come in and teach too are all working in the industry. Many of them run their own film companies, animation companies, and so the students are getting the very best industry relevant, up-to-date 21st century education. You won't only uh, have expert lecturers, but you will also have lots of guest speakers coming in to talk to you about their uh, specific specialised field. So we have guest speakers coming in to be able to give you real in-depth knowledge about what they're doing at the time and I think that really, really helps you understand what it is that's required uh, of you when you go out into the industry. Uh, progression from this course takes various forms. Some people uh, go into internships, some people have gone into work experience placements and been offered jobs as part of those. Uh, there are other students that go on to higher education, to university and media related courses. I think because of the, the breadth of the skills that you achieve on a vocational course, it opens up the number of different courses at HU level that you can apply to. When you start a course you don't really know what you want to end up as. You kind of have an idea but you don't really know, you don't really know all the roles. Um, but by the end of this, especially after the single camera and techniques, I knew that I wanted to be in film only because I enjoy that unit so much. Um, so that's, that's what's inspired me to do go into film production at university. So unlike a lot of people on my course, I'm not going to uni and I haven't applied. 
and that's because I feel that I've reached as far as I can go with my learning because this course has been so knowledgeable to me and I've learned so much. Not only does the course allow you to progress to university, but from being on the course you will have all of the skills and the knowledge you will need to be able to progress um, into the media industry straight away. We speak to the industry, the BBC, ITV and independent production companies twice a year to make sure that what we are teaching you are the skills that they actually want you to have coming out of work. So if, if you're someone that doesn't feel keen on the uni, then I think this course is good because it, it does enable you to go straight into work if that is your choice. earlier because I've learned so much on this course it's redonkulous. <laughs>